All right, welcome back to part number three of my poor Zygarde session, 1v1 session where we use Zygarde, and we are ready to go. Uh, Chandelure, cool. Chandelure is a cool Pokemon, but unfortunately for Chandelure, we have Earthquake. And even more unfortunately for Chandelure, that doesn't kill? What? The will of us missed? Well, the first... Earthquake did 78%, so the second one would have done around 35, 30 something, which would have killed anyway, so the, the burn missing there didn't really matter too much. Uh, nonetheless, Chandelure is a cool Pokemon. Alright, uh, last time this same person went into Umbreon. Um, they might do this this time, they might not, but regardless, we're going to go for Zygarde. <laughs> Poor Zygarde. Alright. We do, unfortunately, get uh, close combated to the face, but we are going to rest that all away. Our speed is higher now. We're going to rest and Chesto Barry to the action. We are woken up. He's going to go for another close combat. I'm now going to go for an Earthquake, because that should kill. It does! Awesome. I'm not sure why he doesn't have like Ice Beam on Starmie, but have to uh, say cool stuff to him for using Starmie, or for using his team that he is. Uh, yeah, alright. So that's two battles in the books for this part. We've won both. Unless I'm missing something, unless I'm forgetting about something. All right, the same person beat us last time with the Greninja, and I was a little upset. So we're gonna try to beat him this time again. We're gonna go for the Outrage again, and this time it does kill. Awesome. Last time it, he lived with eight percent. So uh, I'm not actually sure. I, I might calc that in a second. You know what? I'll calc that now. Alright, so apparently this entire time I've only had a 25% chance to kill Greninja. With no, that's with no HP or defense investment in Greninja, so I'm not sure. I've just been getting really lucky or something, but I think we've faced maybe four or five Greninjas, and I've killed 80% of them, uh, all but one, on the first Outrage that I've used. So I don't know what that is all about, but I will take it nonetheless. This is a tricky predicament we're in because I feel like if we go into this one, we lose to Venusaur, but if we go into either of these, we lose to Black Kyrian. I think all three can beat Darmanitan. So I think I'll just go into Sun and hope he doesn't go into Venusaur. He does go into Black Kyrian, which we have about an 80% chance to one hit KO with our Outrage. Unless he's Scarfed too, so he is also Scarfed. Um, which means I might, depending on if we see him again or not, we might end up going with a, uh, a Jolly Zygarde. Alright, I really need to switch Zen Headbutt off this thing because this is the second time now that we've seen a Charizard or a Flying type and Zen Headbutt's kind of been useless. Alright, um, Zygarde, Sun it is. Hopefully he's not Jolly. If he's Jolly and Scarf, he goes first. If he's Scarf and Adamant, it's a speed tie. Fun story. Uh, don't know. He had a Haban Berry. Wow. Wow. That sucks. We're just continuously losing, folks. I don't know what it is. Ever, ever since I uh, tried to calculate that Greninja... We've just been losing over and over again. I'm trying my best. Get no love. Zygarde gets no love. I get no love. We got a crit there too. I, I do believe. That was my. I think that was my first crit of the session so far. And it didn't even matter. Alright. We are going to go into this one. You too. Goes into Charizard. Oh boy. We will go ahead and Dragon Dance and hope he doesn't, he is this kind of Dragonite, so he's going to kill us. Alright, good game, sir. 
we will know next time to go into sun and k destroy you. Um, all right. <laughs> I've been meaning to do this for a while now. Team Builder. Uh, where is it? Stone Edge. Cool. That's all I need. That's all I want to do. All right. Going to sun. And again, predicaments. If he's jolly, he goes first. If he's jolly and scarfed, he goes first. He is jolly and scarfed. He goes first. We lose. <laughs> All right, team builder, we are going to be jolly now because we continuously are losing, and it's sad. Uh, all right, we have a Mega Pinsir. We should be able to live any of Mega Pinsir's attacks, I think. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go for Dragon Dance. This might be a bad idea. Uh, I'm gonna actually go for an Outrage right off the bat. And we'll start the timer. I'm just gonna go, yeah, I'm just gonna do the Outrage. Uh, he's going to... He might pursue... Or not pursue, he might protect. He's not going to, though. Uh, Outrage, that's with the normal pincer stats. I don't know if normal... Does pincer get any... I kind of forget. Uh, we're going to go for the rest now. As he goes for a return. And we do hurt ourselves in confusion! Yay! Awesome, that's really fun. Okay, I should have gone into the other Zygarde, Sun. Uh, we're going to go into Sun now, though. Now that we have our Stone Edge. Uh, and he's going to go into this thing. So now that we're not... See, this is like the problem. So now the fact that we are not Adam anymore, now that we're Jolly, we probably have like a 15, 10-15% to chance of, of one-shot KOing here. Um, so, we're going to still go for the Outrage, but yeah, see, he lives with 9%. Whereas, if we are, if we are adamant in that particular situation, we win. We might win. We have a better chance of winning. But, the fact that we are jolly now to outspeed a couple of things, or to at least get into a speed tie with Black Kyrium, a jolly, scarfed Black Kyrium, we no longer are able to kill those things. <laughs> Greninja. So it's like a, it's a lot of mind games. It's a lot of trying to figure out stuff. Uh, we are going to go into this Zygarde here because he looks like he has a Stolly-ish team. And we're just going to continuously go for Dragon Dances. And hopefully he doesn't have... Well, he's probably going to Toxic me. He has Ice Beam? What? Say what? Um, Alright. Outrage it is. Doesn't kill. Oh my god. So frustrating. We have dropped all the way below 1200. I've lost maybe like seven or eight battles in this part alone, and it's really frustrating. But what can you do? Um, we're gonna try to end on a high note and try to end with a victory. So we're gonna go into Sun. We are gonna go for the Stone Edge, and it's not gonna miss, right? It's not gonna miss. It won't miss. Cool. So we hit the Stone Edge, we win the game. We're going to end up on a high note, and we're going to say farewell to everyone. Uh, show poor old Zygarde some love. It doesn't get that much love. Uh, go for a comment down below, as well as a like. And I feel like I really like kind of was uh, talking about random stuff and jibber-jabbing and such this episode, this part. It was a long week for me, so that's why there's, there wasn't too many videos this week. Um, so yeah, please show me some love and those likes and comments um, are very much appreciated. Let me know what you'd like to see. Um, before the month is over, I'm going to do a session on the metagames. I'll show those real quick. Uh, mix and match and Bolt Turn Mayhem. I have two teams lined up for that. Those will probably be 
uh, individual battles per part, um, probably four parts each. So those those are like eight episodes I plan to do in the next week or so. So maybe before the end of February. Uh, tomorrow is uh, Pokemon Day. Go celebrate. And actually, by the time this third part's out, Pokemon Day has already been a thing. So hopefully you had a nice Pokemon Day. I know Toys R Us and GameStop are doing something for me tomorrow. For you, when you're watching this, they already did something. Um, so hopefully it was all fun and dandy. And I've been rambling on. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see everyone later. Peace. You did it, Psyduck! Psyduck!